we got some mail here. Got some stuff that people have sent in to your dinosaurs are wrong. And we're going to open it. Starting with this, which we don't even need to open because it's just a postcard. From David in Illinois. Oh, it's a Herrerasaurus. I don't... You don't usually see Herrerasaurus with that much cranial ornamentation. This is my main criticism of this one. Having those horns on its face. Like, I, d I don't think there's any reason they couldn't have had horns or whatever else on their heads, but you don't usually see it. Okay, so, uh... David writes, Dear Stephen and Liz, I'm a writer and lifelong dinosaur enthusiast who discovered your dinosaurs are wrong in mid-2019. Uh, I would be honored if you could talk a little bit about the Herrerasaurus on this postcard. Uh, please keep up the good work. Oh, that Herrerasaurus was uh, painted, I presume, in 1981 by Mark Hallett. Huh. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know if I would have guessed that that was 80s vintage. Then again, Herrerasaurus kind of always looks super classic. Just because of how basal of a dinosaur or dinosaur morph it is. Uh, but thank you, David. Oh, and he used one of the T-Rex stamps. The little baby fluffy T-Rex stamps that the post office has. Uh, this is from uh, Michelle in Pennsylvania. Oh, that's a lot of papers. Oh, those pictures! This is a triceratops. And these are... Oh. Ashdarkids. Thank you for writing in, Michelle. We have a box from... See, I feel bad because their handwriting is actually quite good, but I'm not sure what that name is. E Starts with an E in Minnesota. Just gonna leave the knife open because that's gonna be needed in a minute. Yeah. Oh man. We have a correspondence, and we have. Oh, we have a few things. Okay. I've. It, this one says keep me, and I've seen this dinosaur before. I think I had one of these, but it was a different color when I was a kid. It's one of those dime- oh! It's one of those dime store prehistoric monsters dinosaurs. Okay, so we've got two versions of the same idea in two different scales. So let's see here. Hello, Stephen and Elizabeth. I'm enclosing two Chronosauruses. It's really just Chronosaurus. Like, if you if you have to pluralize it, like, Chronosaurus is already, like, the animal. Like, you don't say two equuses, if you're referring to horses in Latin for whatever reason. Anyway, from the 1960s. The chewed silver one was made by Marx. The blue one was based on the Marx one by MPC. Both were part of larger sets of mostly dinosaurs and were the only marine reptiles included. That stands to reason. Oh, and a knockoff of the Marx Allosaurus is what this is. And that one we can keep. Thank you for your patience and indulgence, and most of all, thank you for your work. Oh, her name is Liz too. Thank you. Liz? So E is for Elizabeth. Okay, I'm with you. This one doesn't have a return address. I mean, it does, but it doesn't have a... Well, that didn't work at all. No. Hey.
Yeah, it's just a ship too. I don't know who sent this. But um, it is a National Geographic Little Kids Book of Dinosaurs. So I guess you can personalize it to say whoever's name the gift is. So then they put YDAW. That's cute. That's a good idea. I didn't know that this was a product that existed, but. And, oh, and it's, there's even a from, with gigantic hugs, your fans. Well, thank you. I was not aware of this book. Huh. They have a similar color scheme to us. So thank you, whoever sent that. I'm gonna do the big one because it's in the way. Oh, wow. I was expecting several smaller boxes but this is one enormous box. It's a, wow. <laughs> it's a Jurassic World Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus. 71 centimeters tall, or se 71 plus centimeters tall. One dinosaur included. They might be hinting that we need a Brachiosaurus episode. We did a Giraffe and Titan, which is what the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus is largely based on. That's true though, we haven't done Brachiosaurus proper. Wow. It is so much, I thought it was gonna be in one piece. It is not. Hang on. This is enormous. <laughs> Who sent this? All I remember is someone in Discord telling me they got it on sale and couldn't resist sending it. <laughs> what in the world? My father has light up Christmas decorations smaller than this. Wait, turn it so they can see what the tail is, like, on the, the body. Oh, the tail is just inserted. Oh. Like, that, and I... <laughs> ah, so it articulates there and nowhere else. Opens. Ugh. And you can do this. Ugh. I'm not. I'm not sure about this. Like, bravo for making a toy that can drink. But I'm not... Like, the way that they would have had to bend at the... the... shoulder, I can't... there's a term for the... where the, the neck vertebrae leave off and the dorsal vertebrae start. I forget the term, but... It's not... not it's not this. It's not rotating around a fulcrum somewhere in this location, even though from an engineering perspective, I feel like this is how it had to be. Oh, you can do that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they definitely couldn't do this either, unless they were possessed. Can this? No, that's just... Oh, can it, um... Can it do the thing? Can it do the Jurassic Park thing? can't really do the Jurassic Park thing, where it stands out, where it rears. 
Nè. À. Well, that quite literally dwarfs everything else we've ever gotten. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? Oh, it's not quite tall. Hang on. There, now it can help me. Oh, the instructions were on the side of the box. It's okay, I got it. I figured it out. This next one is from Charles in California. Dear, your dinosaurs are wrong. This was one of several toy dinosaurs available with a with a Wendy's kids meal in 1988. So this is as old as me. It was listed as an Armatosaurus, Am Am Amatosaurus, Anatosaurus. I'm not sure what that's saying. Uh, I got a second off eBay and in a set, I don't need it back, Charles. Oh my goodness. I mentioned earlier that I would not have been able to guess that the um, Herrerasaurus was from the 80s. This, I can definitely guess, is from the 80s. That feels appropriate. Does Wendy still do kids' meals? I remember I got dinosaurs from Wendy's in a kid's meal. Not these. I got these ones that, like, separate and put back together in different configurations. But... I'm, I still don't know what it's supposed to be. Comment in, Charles. I mean, it's clearly some manner of hadrosaur. Or... or hadrosaurid. Uh, last box. Also from Charles. Oh, there's a lot in this box. Okay. Dear, your dinosaurs are wrong. I thought it'd be fun to send you some weird dinosaur stuff from China. Don't feel obligated to review any of it if you don't want to. Charles, P.S. Selective service cards are just for filling out the box. Noted. P uh, postscript script. I, don't, I think it's post postscript. I don't need anything returned. Excellent. So wait, he used... Yeah, he used draft registration cards as packaging. <laughs> hey! We didn't have one of these. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I, I want to say Miragaya. It's it's some kind of long-necked stegosaur, and there there's a couple that have long necks, but there's one that has a really long neck. But, yeah, we didn't have one, one of these. This is cool. Also, I like the color scheme. There's not enough blue and purple dinosaurs anymore. At least not at that scale. This looks like... Is this a Megalosaurus? It looks like kind of a messed up... Mm, yeah. Looks like kind of a messed up version of this guy. got something I can't read because it's in Chinese. Oh, hey, there's Latin. Uh, okay, so it's just a little baby's first dinosaur identification book. Huh. 
You don't usually see Kentrosaurus in these. Oh, Seismosaurus. Hey, there's, there's the normal ones. Wait, there are different... They call them different things in Chinese? I just noticed, so Styracosaurus is labeled... Uh, I don't do Chinese vowels, so this is going to sound terrible, but it's labeled Ji Long, and Stegosaurus is Jian Long. They all end with Long, which I, I guess I'm not surprised by, but I, I kind of assumed that they would just call them whatever we called them. I didn't realize there were Chinese names for these animals. Tyrannosaurus Rex is Ba Wang Long. Huh. Neat. I learned something today. Oh, we got some of the little tiny di What? I've never seen one this small with the, the open mouth arrangement. I think it's some, I think it's Styracosaurus maybe, like a really bad Styracosaurus, but look, it's hollow. And you don't usually see, this, and it's not squishy like the other hollow mouthed ones would be. And we got our um, Ceratosaurus, another Ceratosaurus, again with an open mouth, but at least this one's, no, that, that one's also really solid compared to what you usually get. What's weird is this one is, well, I was going to say it's more accurate than Bertrand, but Bertrand's identification is a little up in the air. That tail, though, is just a little spike. Come to think of it, so is the Stereosaurus's. Not, not a lot of effort went into those tails, huh? Hey, erasers! Most of them are even dinosaurs, even though kind of surrealist dinosaurs. There's a Dimetrodon in the mix, at least I think that's supposed to be a Dimetrodon. And a... And a very pleased with itself, very cursorial uh, ankylosaur of some kind. Just running along. And we've got what in the world? There's some stuff going on here. We've got Hello Kitty and Paw Patrol on the packaging. Neither of which I would assume was actually licensed to create this product. <laughs> but <laughs> when I was a kid, you would find super cheap stuff like this based on like Power Rangers or Batman, but this is for Paw Patrol, which is something my niece is into. I'm not old. But there's also, I don't, maybe if I could read Chinese, I could identify why there are dinosaurs together with the Paw Patrol and Hello Kitty, even though there are no Hello Kitty toys in here. But I cannot. Like the basket, I guess, makes sense, because they're eggs. Oh, and wait, what? This is so low effort. We've got some manner of stegosaur, probably, or maybe a really lazy, like, Uranosaurus or something. It does, I'm not sure if those are supposed to be plates or a sail. Whereas on this one, it's definitely supposed to be a sail. It's a very charismatic Dimetrodon with a tiny, tiny head. This one I'm fairly confident is a Tyrannosaur. 
Oh, oh, will it stand? It will, okay. And I think some kind of ornithomimid, but without wings and with a with a head that makes it look like the um, the dodo bird from Looney Tunes. What an amusing assemblage of, of objects we have received from Charles today. And also this from person who we still haven't named, even though I'll probably put like a pop-up thingy saying thank you person. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sending things in, and we will do our best to get to some of these. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Ah.